And welcome back, everyone, to my seemingly never-ending Speed Spotlight and Watery Craft. We are on to part four, and in the handbook, we are on page 12 now. We're doing farming machines, and a few things from the accessory machines thing, but all the farming machines and, like, half accessory, and, well, let's just get started. Here we go. So being farming machines, it's all going to be about farming. This is, first thing we have is the fan, which uses some planks and impeller and some other stuff, and it will... When applied enough power, blow crops down, and I'm using a steam engine right now. It'll blow up to if this was 22 blocks. Blow all the. It'll harvest the crops, replant the seeds, and blow everything down. It'll also put out any fires in front of it. But if you put fire right in front of it, then it'll become a flamethrower, and it'll also simply blow entities pretty fast and people too, or not items. Okay, next you have. It doesn't have the tool tip, the auto breeder, which is just using some panels. And this does exactly what you think it would do. I got some wheat in here. Providing power via a regular steam engine. A lot of these things just use steam engines. And if I get two cows, they will fall in love. It'll draw animals towards it and then breed them. If you put that around some iron gates, you get the bait box. Which, if you open this, it'll give you everything what attracts and repels it. And apparently it only works for the first item, so all this is going to do is attract any chickens to it. So if I were to spawn a chicken, it would be attracted to the lovely scent of seeds. If I were to switch this out for obsidian, any creeper nearby will flee in horror. Next you got the spawner controller. This thing is really cool. Um, it uses some gold in the circuit, and you put this on a spawner. Right now I have it on a creeper spawner, and it'll actually let you control you let you disable and enable it and control the spawn delay. The higher power, the lower spawn delay you can have. I'm using a performance engine right now, and I can get a spawn delay of at, of at, at least 400. So if I were to set the time to midnight, it will start spawning creepers 400 ticks apart, which is 20 seconds. Yeah, but if you get a lot of power into this thing, you can get them cranking out. So, really useful item. Next, you can see we have sprinklers. Really easy crafting recipe. It just takes steel and a tube in the middle. It takes water pressure, so all the water has to come from pumps. The faster you pump a pump, the more pressure it'll have, or the stronger you pump the pump. And it'll take the water pressure and it'll convert it down. There's also the ground sprinkler, which you could put underneath your stuff. It has a much higher range, uses up a lot, lot more water, and also creates a lot more particles. Take a look at that. Next, you have the woodcutter. Now, I haven't mentioned this before, but a lot of these machines can be enchanted. Woodcutter is one of them. Can't be enchanted in an enchanting table, but you can use an anvil. As you can see this one has four. Whoa, this one has fortune three. A little glitchy, but if you see on the top, it does have fortune three, and that means any tree it'll cut down will automatically replant the sapling. So, how to get myself some stuff? I will. My inventory. Plant a tree has to be right in front of it, otherwise it doesn't work. And I'll grow it, and the woodcutter will proceed to harvest it. And when it's done, since it has fortune 3, it'll guaranteed plant the seed, plant a new sapling, otherwise it will possibly plant a new sapling, and all the drops will just be dropped on the ground. Now you get a heater with a combustor and some steel and some iron fence on top. Fight it with at least a steam engine, and it's going to take some, some uh, fuel in it, and you put in a temperature control, say I want it to go to 1500, and it'll start heating up once it uses up some lava. See, now it's at 1200. It can power my blast furnace for me, or anything else that requires heat. Now if you put that over an ender pearl with some panels, you can get a mob harvester, which, what this'll do, is it'll take any mob above it, and it'll deal damage according to how much power it's put in. And right now, see, it's dealing 9 damage, but it has to be right on top of it. So you probably want to make this a smaller area, but the more power, the more damage. Now you get a chest, you get an impeller, you get some pipes, you can get a fertilizer, which you just put in some fuel in the form of bone meal or appetite, and it will fertilize the crops around it, up to, I think, here it was doing, and this is just a steam engine. No, this is actually just an AC electric engine, and it also takes water, and it'll just fertilize the crops for you, so pretty neat. Next is the item vacuum and it will it uses black, black wool it'll suck in items I have it powered with a steam engine it'll suck in items from up to here that's what I found all that way it'll also suck in experience and store it if you right click and click get experience it'll dump out some 
Now you get some end stone, ender pearl, and some steel. You get the item refresher. When this is powered, any items nearby it within its range will not despawn. I'm pretty sure that's how it looks. Because any items around it start jumping. Okay, now if you get a, um, a circuit board, a hopper, you can get a sorting module. And this thing is really cool. What you do is you dump items in the top, and it'll sort it according to the filter inside. See, I have d discard items, I got expensive items, and I got red items. So I'm just going to dump in a stack of this, and it'll start ejecting it all out that side, and it looks really cool. All it needs is just a simple AC electric engine, and it will not put it into inventories, but if you do have a one block gap, it will end up dumping everything down there. Golden ingot circuit board and some steel will get you this engine control unit. You, It takes the it goes on the bottom, so it's harder to put stuff in, but it'll take in the fuel and give it, give the fuel to the machine. Right now, I have it set to full output. I can shift right click, and it becomes now manually cold. But this is actually a glitch. This is switch. Right now, it says it's redstone control, but it is manual. So this is redstone control. So if I were to hit this switch, it would shut off the engine. And if I were to right click, it set to zero speed, 6.25 speed, 25 to 50% speed, and lower speeds do use less fuel. So 5 minutes 58 seconds, not too bad. Rotorycraft is a large, large mod, and I want to get the rest of these done because it seems like it's done updating. Um, a few updates, um, I noticed this now requires sand, so you gotta put sand in for it to make stuff. It also requires a hotter temperature, I believe. Yeah, this isn't hot enough. Mm. A lot of the IDs have been switching around, so your micro turbine may have turned into a DC electric engine. Yeah, not very good. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to try to get the rest of these out as soon as I can. These things take forever. This right here, which hasn't been that much compared to everything else, took at least four hours. Because I have to do the crafting recipe, get all the items in my inventory, put it up, build a demonstration of it, figure out the demonstration, and get it working so you can understand it and I can demonstrate it quickly and easily. So I hope this was helpful and if you found this helpful then you can leave a like and that way other people will find this video and hopefully they'll find it helpful too. So thanks so much for watching, enjoy your farming with votary craft and replanted the sapling. That's weird. Bye bye.